Today I'm going to show you a quick overview of Comic Life, a nice quick app overview of what this great program, one of my favorites, can do. So here I are, am in Comic Life. Um, I have a blank page here. At the bottom you see these pluses and minuses. The plus can add pages, so now I have two. The minus can delete pages. You can see over here is my page templates. I have multiple categories that I can select from. And it gives me all of these different panel layouts. So in any of these situations, I can take the panel layout and drag it over. Once I have the panels, you can see here, I have my desktop photos that I could pull from, from uh, my iPhoto library. There's also an option where you can capture using your built-in camera, or you can search things from the finder. So if you've downloaded a folder of pictures, you can do that. And it's just a matter of dragging and dropping in the photos. When you add a photo, you can see these green lines. You can take and move the picture within it if you only want part of it. If I click just on the box, so I double click, I get the green lines for the photo. But if I click just once on this box or this frame, you can see I can resize the frame itself. All these frames can be moved, so I could resize reposition. Um, over here is a blank panel so I could add in a separate one and you can totally customize how you want the setup. Now something else you can do for photos is over here I have this um, just this folder on my desktop called folders called photos. Uh, these are just some pictures I grabbed off the internet. They could be stuff from a digital camera and you can literally go and drop in pictures from a folder. So if you don't want to have to navigate or for some reason um, it's not auto finding your photos from iPhoto, it's as simple as grabbing a picture and dragging and dropping it in. And once it's in you can do the same things in terms of resizing photos or stretching your boxes to fit. Now besides the photos you also have options down here for lettering. So I could add in a, a little caption box, a little meanwhile, or let's say I have something like this in here. I could add in a word balloon and add text. Now the word balloons themselves also have some options. So if I take it, you can see how I can stretch it, move it, make it larger. The blue dot that's on the stem can be moved. So if I want to change who's speaking, I can do that. It's also a plus, so I could have multiple people speak if I want to. And at the top, I have all these options for style. So I could change the color of the box, I could increase the size of the font, um, I could change the font itself, so on and so forth. Now these styles also work for um, other elements. So if I was to click, for example, this photo here, I could change the layout of the box. So whatever you click on, whether it's a, your text box, or your frame for your photo is going to change these options here.